Hey, what's up, y'all? This is going to be a short video that's going to show you how to use your OP1 as an audio interface for your iPad. Recently, Teenage Engineering updated their operating system on the OP1 to allow you to stream audio via the USB cable. The advantage of that is now you can uh, stream songs or even sounds out of the iPad into the OP1 or out of the OP1 into the iPad via the USB cable. You don't need extra cables to get sound in or out of the OP1 into your DAW. So for today's demonstration, we're going to use the OP1 as our recording device. And the first thing we want to do is, I'm going to explain how it's set up. Our USB cable is connected to our camera connection kit, which is connected to the iPad. So audio can go in and out of the iPad, or in and out of the OP1. This cable right here is connected to the speaker right here, which is going to allow you to hear the sound that's coming in and out of the iPad and the OP1 and this is just the output on the side of the OP1 this red cable I mean this red dot right here is an indication of sound going inside of the OP1 so this one's going out so the next thing the next course of action is you want to go to a drum track and as you see the sound coming out of the OP1 into the speaker and on the iPad, I'm going to use AUM just to demonstrate that the OP1 is being used as an audio interface. So we go to our audio, and we're going to right there, hardware output. And as you see, our audio uh, interface being used is the OP1. We have a left and right channel in stereo, and then we have two mono uh, channels, left or right. So it says the stereo. And now our app of choice today we're going to use let's use uh, the house mark one which is a, a Rhodes emulator you can't hear anything coming out of the mark one so on our OP1 we, what we want to do is I like to go to, to the drum track turn our sound down and we're going to go to our sampler uh, button right here on the OP1 and we're going to choose the USB uh, connection which is it looks like an upside down octopus and now we should be able to hear some sound coming out of the OP1 I'm out of the iPad now uh, one of the issues that we face when sampling out of the iPad into the OP1 is if we want to use the OP1 as a MIDI device which is on the iPad we go to OP1 we actually on our iPad we go to our MIDI device selection on the app of choice and we're going to go to OP1 MIDI device we can't hear anything so I'm on the tape selection right here on my OP on my OP1. I go back to the sampling button. Now we should be able to hear a sound coming from the iPad into the OP1. The only issue with using the OP1 as a MIDI device in an audio interface is that we have some sound overlap with the last preset on the OP1. So on our OP1, I, like I said, I go to the drum track. I go to number two. I turn the envelope all the way down so we're not we're not hearing the sounds coming out of the drum, drum track anymore. And then we can record directly onto our tape using our MIDI button. It's not the greatest. I'm just showing you a demonstration that now that you can select anything out of the iPad and be directly recorded into the OP1 without having sound layered or overlapped. Another uh, issue I, I, I see is if you want to record directly into the iPad from the OP1 but, and using this as a as an audio interface, you're going to have some overlap or some... Uh, some loopback issues which is going to allow the sound to, to double up so let's see here
So if you notice, there's doubling of the sound. That's because audio is going in to the iPad and back into the OP1 on the same uh, on the same track. So it's listening to itself and and recording onto itself. So you really have to decide if you want to record via the iPad or the uh, OP1. And if you're recording uh, via the OP1 using it as an audio interface, uh, you, you'll need a second audio interface to eliminate that doubling up. And I'll explain that in a later video. Anyway, I hope this video helped you to understand how to record into the OP1 out of the iPad while using it as a MIDI device. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.